Royal Brompton and Harefield Hospitals are a specialist centre. We like to think of ourselves as a centre made up of two hospitals. We were trying to bring together in one state-of-the-art facility all of our imaging modalities which hitherto had been scattered around different parts of the hospital campus. We also had some not fit for service buildings, um, so this really has made a difference to have modern, specifically designed buildings built for the purpose that they were intended. Um, it also helped the organisation um, change how some services had run to one-stop shop, so patients, instead of having to come back on multiple visits, can achieve two or three different procedures or consultations in the one visit. We recognised that we needed areas for patients to wait, to be prepared, to have the procedure and then to go after the procedure. So for all of our procedures that are happening in this building, we thought about that and we arranged accommodation for that. It's created connectivity between three clinical buildings on this site. We genuinely across the hospital clinicians, managers and estates team. The contract administrator, who in this case was Arcadis, and then Kia and its team of subcontractors. We were genuinely a team. Throughout the project, there was good collaboration between all the parties. The clinical teams also were very invested in the whole project because they knew that they would get a much better facility at the end of it. So, so that helped as well to have good clinical input throughout the project. The collaboration that we achieved here at Royal Brompton is one of the most successful that I've ever experienced in, in 25 years of um, building hospitals. And to do that, we developed a stakeholder plan um, led by our architectural team. And we were quite clear on what the deliverables were and what the time scales were. The whole team, including the clinical staff, really did buy into that whole process. This lovely new shiny building has to interface with some pretty horrible old Victorian buildings for which there were no building plans, no surveys. A lot of the utilities were like a bowl of spaghetti underneath the building. And actually what was very impressive at the time was Keir said, we accept this as a bowl of spaghetti, we could hit you for all sorts of delays, costs and so forth, but actually, do you know what? We're going to roll our sleeves up here and sort the problem out. And the approach that the site team took was, was absolutely meticulous in, in almost finger tracing those services back to their source, identifying exactly where they were serviced from, liaising fully with the departments that they were connected to so that we could develop an isolation plan. Um, and then we, we went about implementing it and, and, and it was very successful. We did it without any interruption to the hospital. As I walk around the building now, the thing that stands out is actually the art and the instalments that we've put in, particularly the, the bamboo cladding in the waiting areas um, and the ceiling lights by Emil Lackman Curl and the art on the walls and the signage that links together. I think it could have easily felt quite sterile and quite stark, but when we brought the arts strategy in, they um, set up an arts committee they had representation from some of the clinicians working on this building and some of the clinical leads, other staff in the hospital and patients. And it is a fantastic facility. Um, yes, private patients are going to use this, but this is primarily for NHS patients. It's a really great advertisement for what the NHS can do and is about. Right at the beginning, we set out what our key milestones were to be during the construction phase, such as tower crane in, tower crane out, major plant deliveries, power on, and then the final one being the delivery of the MRI. And I'm really pleased to say that we hit every single milestone that we set out to achieve. The team we had from Keir were a very good team across the board with a couple of outstanding individuals. Would I do another programme with Kia? Yes, absolutely, no problems at all. From my perspective, the site team were great and I think staff in the organisation would probably see them more as one of us, as, 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 as colleagues, certainly not as a contractor on a different side of the table for us. They would, they, they would see us all working together for a kind of common end and, and, and that's great. And it's a real, real positive way to finish a great project. Mm -hmm.